to finalize that thought, the whole point to this is this life is not supposed to be hard. When we're just in this world, in the material world, and we're disconnected from the world we came from, the before life, our spirit guides and our true self, okay? And we're just, that we pushed that away when we were little tiny kids and forgot we did that, okay? And we find ourselves just in this world, but in the grips of this world, no wonder you can't make a decision. You're paralyzed, you're frightened, you panic, you're in fear. And, and that leads to struggle and, and also um, where you resist most things that come to you because you don't trust yourself. And you don't trust yourself because you are not present. You are not, it, it's a shadow of you, a, the survival part of you you know, the animal instinct part of you that's, that's in this world that it's, is expected to make those decisions, really good decisions. How could you possibly do that when, when you are missing an action? You have to bring yourself back. But when you feel that pressure to decide, you'll know that you're just here. That's, that's the proof that you're disconnected. When you feel forced that pressure on you that's when you know it and the only way you can bring that back into balance so that you are fully engaged you are present you are connected mm -hmm. is to sit back surrender let go of this and and the and the 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 pressure that you feel that you need to Make a decision right now. You, you, you've got to have the answer. You, you have to know. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't care what happens. I really mean that. This just being in this world and reacting like you're just in this, this is all there is, will not help you. Okay. You'll just bump around and you kind of make a decision that's kind of halfway good and bad and not right. And you, you could do so much better if you just sat back, <sighs> took that <clears throat> breath that breath. Release the stress in your body. You've got to learn to do this, you guys. That's when, that's when everything just falls into place. Because what you basically did, let's say the traffic's going by, the traffic is going by, the traffic is going by. What you did is you got out of the way of the traffic. You let it go by, you let it go by. And the fact that you did that, you can't get in it and, and, and get the, the answers you need. Get know what decision you need to make when you're in the rat race, all right, doing what everybody else is doing, following what's screaming at you from this world. You can't possibly make a good decision. I just can't help it. That's why I wrote this book. Bring this back out when you feel that pressure on you and, and you feel stifled by it. <clears throat> Something happened. <clears throat> Something happened that really rock your world okay take your journal out part three and start writing about what that issue is what that dilemma is what is it that you feel pressured to decide okay well i started doing a little research on this and you're pressured to decide just on just about everything you make impulse True. decisions hundreds and hundreds and thousands of impulse decisions where you have to make a decision right now <laughs> you know uh, compliance. You have to make decisions about whether or not you're going to comply with something. You make delegating decisions where you delegate it to somebody else. You're the boss. You're, yeah, yeah. Uh, avoidance. You make decisions to avoid making decisions. Ooh. All right. Okay. Balance, which is what we're going to talk about tonight. Uh, you make decisions about balancing things in your life where you go through and you weigh all the possibilities, you weigh all the factors, you go over it and over it and oh, over it. Okay? Don't you hate those? And then okay. you make all kinds of decisions about prioritizing your day. Right. And those end up being like thousands. The, the article's at 35,000. That's crazy. Okay. That is well, nuts. Okay. No wonder so people don't like to make decisions. Here's why that is. <clears throat> they're not making decisions. They're doubting the decision they're thinking about making. That's what they're really doing. They're, they're, they're being forced. They're reacting. They're over 
they're they're over yeah they're overreacting to having to make the decision uh, again tonight's topic is about being forced being forced to decide will be your litmus test so if the to the degree that you feel the pressure to decide is letting you know how out of balance you are at that moment remember that everything is just moment to moment one moment you're totally balanced. You're together. You're connected. You, you're, you're, you've got everything it takes to make that, that best decision. Okay. There is no struggle. There is no the lit, the litmus test doesn't affect you. It's you don't. That is your test. You passed it. Okay. But when you feel that pressure, that burden, that dread to have an answer, make the decision. That's when you know you're disconnected. Remember this, you guys, these are the little tiny things that are huge in your life that let you know right where you are at any given moment, okay? When you notice this, it, you've got it in order to catch this stuff and get sharp and get really good at this, write it in your journal in part three. I hit a decision today, it, was, it challenged me and when it did, I knew it was that litmus test Linda talked about. I knew I was just in this world. I was letting it have me, okay? It had a hold of me. And I, I did sit back. I did relax and, and loosen up my body and release that pressure that, that prevents me from making a good decision because I'm disconnected for that moment, all right? And now that I'm breathing and stretching and relaxing my body and just letting it come to me. I now, I feel, I feel tingles. I feel alive. I feel connected. Now I, all I have to do is just sit there and just let it come to me. And in that moment that it comes to you, you have to write it down. You have to do it, you guys, because in time you're, you're going to be so fast at this, but you've got to start doing, taking these steps of writing it down. What you realize where you've been challenged in, in the decision-making process, write it down. And when you got your act together and the decision came to you, and write that down. That's the success story. That's how you're going to, to overcome these, these hurdles about making a good decision and, not just, and staying balanced and not just going, oh, it's a big decision. Oh, my God. Woo! You're back over here again, and you're, you're back in fright, panic, and fear, and doubt. And, oh, man. No way. 